And as the bell sounds, our next match is underway. Rolando Perez, Soraya Sabre, not who Perez was expecting to be facing tonight, but Marcus Dillon not able to make his way to Florence, Alabama for whatever reason it might be. But Perez wants to see a handshake, but Soraya has something else on her mind. And Carmen, you've, you've got to think, Rolando Perez was not exactly prepared for this match, but I wasn't either, to Rob. shy away. I wasn't either. <laughs> it seems like the investment, Marcus Dillon, uh, away on business, sending his number one investor, Soraya Saber, in to fight his battles for him. 
you know, I've invested in a few stocks, what have you, before in my day. Nobody that I've ever invested in ever called me up and said, hey, can you go fight somebody for me? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, at least. I got to check those Ford stocks. Who knows? <laughs> it looks like Perez is trying to, uh, well, <laughs> maybe doing his mating dance. Yeah, I was, I was going <laughs> to. I was going to wait and see how you were going to describe it. I wasn't yeah, sure how I was going to say it. We're going to straighten up the tie, too. This is, a, this is an aesthetically driven business. You see Rolando things, Perez things relies just on come the tie. Out, things just come out of my mouth. I, I can't really control it. How <laughs> well? <laughs> Soraya with the reversal. I'm oh. a little, little worried about what might come out of Rolando's mouth here later in this match. But as of right now, he's doing everything he can to stay on top of Soraya Saber. Now, this, this is interesting, though, because Rolando Perez <laughs> Originally scheduled to face Marcus Dillon because Mar <laughs> Rolando, rather, had his eyes set on Soraya Sabre wanting to save her from Marcus Dillon. Well, well sometimes if you want to save somebody, if you really do care about somebody, you have to experiment you have to with a little them. tough love. Yeah. yeah, you have to fight them. You got a brother or sister you ever thrown hands with, Carmen? It happens to all of us. <laughs> oh, wait. Swivel of the hips. Oh, and another cannonball. Doing, I, I, I guess the the game plan is to knock some sense into Soraya Sabres. He goes for that cover, oh. and the spectacular Miami Ice Rolando Perez looking to fire up the crowd here in attendance in Florence, Alabama. Been firing up crowds for the National Wrestling Alliance. Just like several members of the New South roster here recently. To, I was about to say I didn't really, I wasn't really able to give Rolando his uh, full entrance. The face of the NWA, Billy Corgan's favorite wrestler, all, all the all the stuff that he's checking. Oh, Soraya knowing Rolando would check on her. Using Lord that kindness in. to her advantage. It's a beautiful back suplex there and goes for a cover. Mm. Love makes us do foolish things, Rob. It absolutely does. And and and, I, and I'm not going to fault Rolando Perez. Clearly, that's what's going on here. He is a lover more than he is a fighter. But he's going to have to fight if he wants to get out of the ring tonight. How many women have we seen Rolando Perez pursue here in New South Wrestling over the years? It's got to be in the dozens at this point. In professional wrestling. Come on. This guy this guy's something else. Oh. Rolando. Might have to straighten the tie again. <laughs> Charges in. Full steam ahead, right into the turnbuckles now. Soraya Saber, double underhook suplex. Goes for the cover, took just a little bit too long. Rolando might be able to, yep, Rolando able to kick out. If Soraya was a little quick on that cover, who knows, we might have already had a winner in this contest. Rolando now firing back. Aggressive offense that we're seeing here from Soraya Sabre, doing everything she can to just, just beat the living hell out of Rolando Perez, expecting not to have to eat too much of that mm. offense back. And not as known about Soraya Sabre here at New South Pro Wrestling. We know that she's been the mysterious benefactor behind Marcus Dillon, one of the many investors funding Marcus Dillon and all of his exploits, perhaps even uh, funding the trip that he takes today. But hold on, Soraya, going for a pinfall. You know, and like you said, not a lot known about Soraya here in New South. Not a lot known in professional wrestling. Soraya Sabre been very quiet here in the early, early years of her career in professional wrestling. But I, this is not my first Soraya Sabre match that I've called. And I've got to say, the aggression that we've seen is expected. Very new to the business. Of course, product of the Nightmare Factory with a big clothesline there, wiping out Rolando. It's going like for it. a cover again. Two. No. Say what you will about Rolando. Obviously, he's a ladies' man. He's he's a bit cheeky, maybe sure. overly confident. But what you cannot deny is his heart. This is someone who's very passionate about a lot of things, and pro wrestling absolutely being one of them. Look, and and, and don't let him. Don't let the size fool you. Don't let the bow tie fool you. Don't let the cool demeanor fool you. As he hits that big wake-up call there in the corner, this is a man that has challenged for the NWA's World's Heavyweight Championship. This is a tough competitor. Former New South Heavyweight Champion as well. Defeated Adam Priest for that title, and of course, who did he go on to lose it to? Kenzie Page, who is still our Heavyweight Champion to this day. 
Closing in on the longest reign of the heavyweight championship that we've ever had is Kinsey Page. Getting awful close there. And we've been talking all day about number one contenders and potential number one contenders. And you've got to imagine Rolando has that title in the back of his mind at all times. Anytime you lose a prize so prestigious, you want to do everything you can to get it back. Rolando now getting Soraya back up on her feet. Sends her into the turnbuckle. He's calling for it. A flurry of blows coming down onto Soraya Saber. See if he lands on an even number. Nope, Soraya might be thinking oh, cheeky first. Nandos. Soraya, powerbomb variation, hooks the tights, not enough. A deep stack on that cover. That was, I, I was expecting the victory there for Soraya. A lot of leverage there between the long legs of Soraya and Rolando being folded in half. It's not much to fold in half, but if you can do it, typically it'll work out in your advantage. Soraya thinking ripcord here, playing with the bow tie though. Wakes up Rolando, make sure he's here for it. Headbutt he directly to the shoulder blades at that. Missile headbutt from Rolando. Calling for it, the biggest boot. And he may be a lover, but there's one thing I know about Rolando. He is not going to pass up a fight. Biggest boot. Soraya is knocked out cold. That's it. Here is your winner, Miami Ice, Rolando Perez. Rolando Perez did not get the opponent that he was expecting tonight, but he still got the result he was expecting tonight as Rolando Perez once again is going to make his way to the pay window after getting a big one in the W column. And now look, looking at Soraya Sabre is almost like, hey, come on, I still got a chance. And Soraya is looking at him like he must be outside of his mind. Which is how most women look at Rolando Perez. Be nice honest. to hear that, but I feel like there's a connection here, Rob. Well, Soraya Sabre's fighting on for as long as she can. She's going to continue to fight that connection. <laughs> I don't think Rolando's giving up anytime soon. Oh, no. Ro <laughs> Rolando is very persistent if I know anything about him. But what a night it has been thus far. Up next, number one contenders match, Dylan McQueen and Brogan Family. It does not get much more personal than this. Like we have already been talking about all throughout the show, this is the match that I came to New South to see more than anything. And this is going to be one of the most hard-hitting matches I think New South has ever seen. Well, let's not keep them waiting. That match is coming up next.